Sometimes the solution to a problem can be very simple. So what was my problem? I wanted to be able to use this while I was programming the synthesizer. You know, be able to turn knobs on this while I'm turning knobs on that. What was the problem? I had no place to put it. I could not get it anywhere close to the keyboards. Here's why. If you look at the keyboards, they were mounted on a stand that was smaller than the keyboards and there was nothing on either side of the keyboards. They were just floating in the air and there was no place to put this. I even tried this. This was a stand that I had a keyboard mounted on and I shortened it, put the delay unit on it and you know, it holds it fine, but I just couldn't get it close enough to the keyboard. So what I really needed was I needed to take the keyboard off of the stand and put a shelf under the keyboard that was longer than the keyboard, set the keyboards back on it, and I would have extra space on that shelf on either side. So I went to the big box store, I bought this shelf, put it underneath the keyboards, and I have an extra, well, I don't know, eight inches on either side. Perfect. So now I can set Mr. Delay right here on the side. Fantastic. Now the only thing about that was it sits kind of low. The profile is kind of low and I wished it was maybe up more level with the top keyboard. So I thought I could just slide something under it and raise it up, right? I've done some projects before using uh, these little boxes that you can buy at Hobby Lobby that are made out of wood. And here's a couple of examples. And so I headed to Hobby Lobby thinking, surely they'll have a box that'll be perfect for this. And so this is what I found. So this was a wooden box, just about the right height for me. Um, since I was refinishing the shelf, I went ahead and refinished it at the same time, so it all matches. But this little box gave me an idea so that I could have a bonus. And let's check that out. So what this box actually was is uh, a Kleenex. <laughs> So you take the bottom off and you put a Kleenex box in it and you pull it out. So I suppose the idea was that you would paint this to match your decor in your house or something. And it even has a, a bottom that slides off like that. Okay, I don't wanna drop it. So what I did is I thought, you know, while I have this, I should go ahead and wire in a switch on the front and a plug in the back and I could turn the whole system on and off from one switch because right now I can't do that. So this is the back of it. It's got the uh, removable AC cord and then a, a socket to plug in stuff. And then I'm going to turn it over. And in the front just has an indicator light and a switch. Internally uh, the switch just breaks the circuit to that socket in the back but I also mounted a little transformer in there and that's to drive the light. It's a 12 volt light. I happen to have a nine volt transformer. That way the light's not gonna be stressed and it should last for a really long time. And that was my solution. And there we go. We got the box raising it up at the height that I like. Now we have our unit right here and I just flip this switch and the whole system comes on. Fantastic. There were like three switches I had to turn on before would have been four by adding the delay. So now I have one switch, turns everything on for me. And I think it sort of looks right. You know, it's got that 60s vibe. So a Kleenex box, <laughs> made out of wood. Oh, and by the way, it was 40% off. So instead of $10, it was $6. I think I spent more on the uh, brush to paint it. <laughs> a couple of brushes. Anyway, a simple solution with a bonus. So if you guys ever have a uh, uh, some kind of need and a, and a simple little project can take care of it, man, by all means, go for it. It's very satisfying to come up with something like that and you'll find that it's useful. So that's it. Okay, well that was it. That was a fun little project that overcame a problem and it even came with a bonus, being able to turn everything on and off with one switch. I like it. Appreciate you guys coming around and watching the videos. We'll catch you next time.